Hello my awesome and amazing Scorpios. It's Mel with Blue Scorpion Tarot here to bring you another general collective reading. Messages from your specific person. What is it that they wish to say to you? We're going to find out. Calling upon the trusted ancestors of my Scorpio viewers and subscribers to bring in the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth through the power of the numbers. And so it is. Power of number one, number 10, and number two. Okay. Ah. Going to the number 13. 13 in tarot is the death card. Sign of Scorpio coming in. Hmm. I feel like this person is definitely, uh, they have you on their mind right now. I'm seeing the word obsession, you know, obsessive, compulsive thinking. There's a change. This person could be going through a change behind the scenes. I'm seeing the word reflecting, reflecting. Something about a sunset. This person could be driving you know, just trying to lose themselves and their thoughts right now. Some of you are dealing with a Capricorn or an Aquarius born in the month of January. Others of you are dealing with a Libra or possibly another Scorpio born in the month of October. You could also be dealing with a Scorpio or a Sagittarius born in the month of November. Some of you are dealing with a Sagittarius or a Capricorn born in the month of December. You might be dealing with an Aquarius or a Pisces born in the month of February. Others of you could be dealing with a Pisces or an Aries born in the month of March. Strong Scorpio energy coming in through the number 20, number 13, also the number 21, but some of you guys are dealing with another fixed sign of the zodiac. Again, that includes Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, and possibly Scorpio. Okay. So with the number 10, I want to see like maybe the Wheel of Fortune, possibly the Ten of Cups or the Ten of Pentacles. We could see the magician card show up, possibly the high priestess. There's a there's like some magical energy that's going on or just flat out manifestation. You guys are manifesting with your thoughts right now. Big time. Change. We keep hearing the word change, shift, shifting. Construction worker the word construction maybe this means it, it could be more of a metaphor even if your person's not a construction worker it could be a metaphor of building up the connection yeah let's see what the change let's see what the change is power of number 13 for the beautiful star sign of scorpio messages from your specific person. And for whatever reason, the moon card just kicked into my mind's eye. You could be dealing with a Cancerian right now. One. Power of number 10, judgment call, judgment time. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Trusted ancestors of my Scorpio viewers and subscribers, what is the overall general collective message, please? From Scorpio's person unto them, show me what's up. Got the magician. There you go. Power of number one came up on the first roll of the dice. Yes, it did. You could be dealing with a Gemini 
Virgo, possibly in Aries. It is about communication. This person is manifesting you with their thoughts. Oh, and they are manifesting for a healthy, solid, committed partnership with you. They've got marriage on the brain in regards to your energy, Scorpio. The beautiful twin flame soulmate 1111 connection. You could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Mm -hmm. Don't pay no attention to the third party situations behind the curtain, okay? Yeah. There's a waiting phase that's going on, no doubt about this. However, there is a three of swords. This person's going to be breaking up with that third party, or the third party is going to be breaking up with them in the next three minutes, three hours, three days, or three weeks. Everybody's on a different timeline of reality. The timelines of reality are manifesting in your thoughts right now, Scorpio. Okay, so every time you keep going back and forth in your mind about this person, you're shifting a timeline. Stay consistent in your thoughts. Justice. They want to bring you the truth. You could be dealing straight up with a Libra. This is a marriage energy going on. The chariot card. This person wants to bring you some kind of truth, victory, and or success. You could be dealing with a Cancer or a Leo born in the month of July. They could end up traveling to wherever you're at, Scorpio. Proposing marriage, messages out of the blue. They want to see you again. Some of you guys are dealing with long distance situations. A lot of them are ready to dive into the deep end. Sign of Aries coming in through the Fool card. Fresh new start, brand new beginning. It's called a reset. Yep, it's called a reset. This person wants a reset with you. They've had to pay off a lot of karmic debt. And isn't it ironic that this card just seems to keep popping up in the Scorpio readings? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Hence that judgment call. Karma. Karma got them. Mm -hmm. Now they want to come forward. They have strong intentions here. Yeah, they're going to lay something to rest. They could also be going through a time frame of healing, or they will be going through a healing over a prior connection that they thought was the one, but no, it wasn't. Now, moon card, bottom of the deck, you guys. I saw it in my mind's eye. You could be dealing with a Cancerian. They had a lot of suppressed emotions towards you, but now the emotions are going to end up coming to the surface. They want you back. Big time. Yeah. I wish I could take back my words. Yeah. And their actions, too. Well, that's the only way that they're going to correct the situation. It's just flat-out action. They have to show you. But this is looking good so far. You and I were too young. In some cases, there could have been a marriage where you guys could have gotten married in your early 20s. However, a lot of times when I see this card, it really is about immature communication. You and I were too young. Now, just not in all cases. They were just being highly immature. They didn't know what they wanted. Let's see what's going on in their environment. Ah, they're thinking about you. I told you, obsession. I was picking up the word obsession. Obsessive, compulsive thinking. You could be dealing with somebody who's very artistically inclined, for some of you. Mm -hmm. ah, the beautiful lover's card. They're ready for this union. They're ready to be with you because whatever they've been dealing with has been creating and generating bad health, stress, unnecessary stress that they're going through in their current environment. Yeah.
Fresh new start, brand new beginning, clarifying the magician. Remember, the magician is card number one. Number one represents a new beginning, a new situation. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Yes, they are going to stew and brew the pot up of a new wave of love, Scorpio, unto you in order to be expressive. I feel like this person is, you know, the good news is I don't have lies or deception coming up in the cards, which is great. Finances and career, financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. They also feel like they have to bring something to the table, something of, you know, substance, okay? So even during their daily work life, they're thinking about you, wondering what you're up to. Yep, there you go. Reconciliation. And behind that is this beautiful trust card. Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning into your life. Yes, they are. I know. A lot of you guys have lost a lot of your faith and your belief in the connection. But it's your thought process. Remember, your thoughts are dictating different timelines of reality. Okay? Got to keep them positive right now. Because there's a shift. I'm trying to be someone you can trust. So that trust card was behind the reconciliation card. Yeah, there you go. They're going to make it happen. That's the thing. When they come back, they're going to make it happen. They're not going anywhere. No matter who I am with, my thoughts always lead me back to you. That's why a third party... Don't pay any attention to the third party situations behind the curtain. Okay. I told you, obsessive compulsive thoughts, obsession thoughts, ruminating thoughts about you. They're coming in. I like it. Very strong, very strong energy. It's not weak. It's not in the middle. It's very powerful. Yep. Whole new attitude and brand new energy of love making its way unto you. Shift your frequency, Scorpio. Shift your life. Start learning how to receive. Let go of anxious attachment styles if there are any. Start using EFT tapping and guided meditations to draw this person's energy in because they sure as hell are manifesting you big time. My awesome and amazing Scorpios, if you would like to book a personal reading with me and do it through the power of the numbers, you can hit me up at bluescorpiongifts at gmail.com. And my amazing assistant, Victoria, will book you for that personal reading. I am running two different uh, reading specials, four questions for $25 or six questions for $50. So if you like to get on my earliest recording schedule, again, email me at bluescorpiongifts at gmail.com. And in the meantime, Scorpio, if you love this content, be sure to hit the like and subscribe button. And until next time, take care.